All right, I should warn you, this next segment is a little blue, not in the sense of blue versus red politics, but in the sense of PG-13. So you might want to clear the little kids out of the room. Okay. The story begins in 1996 with a hotly contested Republican primary for governor of North Carolina. One of the candidates running in that primary was this guy, Congressman Robin Hayes. Now, part of what made that primary contentious was that Hayes' opponent accused him of being so conservative that he would never be able to win the general election. Among the things they pointed to was the fact that as a U.S. congressman, he was a fervent backer of abstinence-based sex education. One of the North Carolina newspapers noted at the time that Hayes had, quote, denounced programs teaching children about birth control, saying they were, quote, based on lust. Instead, he had pushed for a curriculum called Choosing the Best. Now, Choosing the Best was, and still is, pretty out there. A narrator on one of the program's educational videos tells students that if they have sex before marriage, they, quote, just have to be prepared to die. Do not pass go, do not collect $200, just be prepared to die. But what's even more shocking is that the program uh, Congressman Robin Hayes was advocating for also taught students to, quote, prevent disease by washing their genitals with rubbing alcohol or Lysol after sex. And so maybe it's no surprise that at a Republican forum, one of Hayes' opponents dubbed him the Lysol Man. Now, soon attack ads cropped up with one of them showing a picture of Hayes dissolving to reveal a bottle of Lysol disinfectant. For his part, Hayes said he never advocated using Lysol in the way choosing the best suggests. But either way, the Lysol Man never became governor. He did, however, become the North Carolina Republican Party chairman. And this week, he was indicted charged with bribery and other crimes that officials say were related to a scheme designed to aid a major political donor in the state. Now, that donor, an insurance executive named Greg Lindbergh, has donated mostly but not solely to Republicans. Lindbergh was also charged this week, along with two other men, one of whom was a former county Republican chairman in North Carolina. They are accused of trying to bribe the North Carolina insurance commissioner with $2 million in campaign contributions, quote, to get him to take actions favorable to one of Lindbergh's companies. Those favorable actions included the removal of one of his subordinates, an insurance regulator in charge of overseeing Lindbergh's firm. They were caught because it turns out that the insurance commissioner they were trying to bribe was actually working with the FBI and was secretly recording their conversations. But wait, there's more. I'm not done. The indictment refers to someone as public official A, whose PAC took $150,000 from these guys who were trying to get the insurance regulator fired. That public official A turned around and made multiple calls to try and get the insurance regulator axed. That official is not charged. He is referenced in the indictment. Politico is now reporting that that official appears to be current Republican Congressman Mark Walker which could become a headache for Republicans, not just in North Carolina, but in D.C. So in one fell swoop, you have that major Republican donor indicted, along with the chairman of the North Carolina State Republican Party, who is a former Republican congressman, as well as a former county Republican Party chairman and a public official, A, who appears to be a current Republican congressman from North Carolina. And that's on top of the congressional election having to be rerun in NC9 because of an illegal vote buying and ballot stuffing scheme to benefit the Republican candidate. And that's on top of the recent court ruling that the state Republican Party illegally rigged congressional district maps to benefit themselves. I know we do talk about blue versus red politics, but what's going on right now in North Carolina is more like red versus red. One key state's Republican Party unable to get out of its own way. Stay with us. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.